Andy Mattis, shares of Diebold, they're down on 8% so far this year, but it's been fairly range-bound in between 30 and 36. But the big news about your company came last month. You're buying Wincor next door for $1.8 billion. So how will this transform your company? What will you look like in 2016? We're on a journey to become a services-led, software-enabled company, and this is just going to propel us to a much bigger level. Think about it this way. We're basically doubling our install base. We're going to have about a million ATM machines installed around the globe, which we're going to service, which we're going to provide value-added services for, which we're going to provide software for. So it will take us a big step forward to being the premier service provider in the ATM space. And you'll be de-bold Nixdorf when it finally becomes complete. And this is a German company. So why don't you talk what you're going to look like uh, in Europe? If you take a look at our revenue, it's going to be very evenly distributed. 40% Americas, 40% Europe, and 40% Asia PAC. And in Europe, we're going to be a major force, which is very attractive because the whole theme in our industry right now is called branch automation, substitution of labor in the branches through the machines. Needless to say, that trend is the most prevalent where labor is the most expensive which happens to be in Europe. So being a powerhouse in Europe is an incredible important springboard for us going forward. And what about in the Asia Pacific region? The cool thing is both companies fit together like two pieces of a puzzle. We're so complementary. That also holds true for Asia. They are strong in the countries where we weren't that strong, like Malaysia and Indonesia. We're really strong in the markets they are not strong, like India, the Philippines, Thailand. So it'll broaden our Asian footprint. And will it make you stronger in the big battle against NCR? I guess you'll be bigger than them once this is through. It's just going to make us the premier services and software company in our industry. It's going to give us a great chance in our competitive positioning in the market. But most importantly, it will provide a very unique position against all the Asian players that are coming into our business who are way more hardware-centric, than, than we are and who do not appreciate the services and software offerings. And people are worried about um, security now. It's a very big issue, especially when it comes to their finances. They're seeing lots of hackings worldwide. People are worried about ATMs. And you're coming out with new products uh, to provide security, as well as new technologies. Irving and Janus, these are new, your new uh, technologies. Can you tell me about Irving and Janus? They're, they're a great couple. They're two innovations that we've done with City Labs, and we just showcased them in Las Vegas at Monday 2020. Irvin is the first ATM in the world where you have iris recognition, where you can walk up to the machine with your cell phone, use the NFC code in your cell phone, connect through the cell phone, pre-stage everything, and you will not, will not have a keyboard. You don't even have a screen anymore. It's all done on your mobile, and you use biometrics. It's 100% secure no skimming possible, and much faster and much more convenient. Janus, similar approach, again, combining the mobile with the machine, but think about the machine now having a scanning table. It's about a 21-inch monitor that you have at the machine. So if you want to deposit checks, you need to scan a driver's license. You need to sign a legal document. You just put them on the table like you would in front of a counter. The machine scans these, reads them, and automatically transforms the function that you need to do. How dependent are you on banks adding branches uh, for you to expand? What's your relationship with the banking industry? Well, the banking industry is our main customer. But the important thing that we need is touch points of the banks with their customers. And any consumer that you ask why they bank with a bank that they're with, is proximity to the home or proximity to the office. Can the banks afford all their branches? No, branches will probably go down, but touch points will go up. So you will have more machines in retail stores. At the corner, they need, need to leave something behind in the neighborhood. And every time you read about a branch closure in the papers, literally on the flip side of that press release is an order to a company like ourselves for more high-end technology that will enable the banks to have a cost-effective footprint in the neighborhood. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Andy Mattis. Thank you very much. And thank you.
for watching the street.